Hey guys, this is Sam, and today iOS 11.4 Beta 3 was released to developers. If you are a public beta tester, you should be seeing this update probably tomorrow realistically, or possibly even later today, which is May 1st. This update was pretty large on the iPhone 10, a lot larger than I expected for Beta 3, 231.4 megabytes, which is a lot. So with that kind of an update size, you would expect to see new changes, new features, new wallpapers, maybe new ringtones, but this time around, that is not the story of this beta. I've looked around, I looked at the official release notes and iOS 11.4 beta 3 doesn't have any new or discernible changes that I have found so far. However, it did feel a lot smoother on my iPhone 10 after updating. So I ran a Geekbench test and the scores were pretty good. My single core score was 4220 and my multi-core score was 10,166. Not the best scores I've ever gotten, but I believe these are a little bit better than what I got in beta 2. As we get further and further into this beta cycle, it's becoming clearer and clearer that Apple really isn't going to be working on a lot of features for iOS 11.4. This definitely feels like a leftover update or something that Apple felt obligated to do just because a lot of the big features in iOS 11.4 have been promised for months now since last WWDC in June of 2017. The first one is messages in iCloud. It allows you to sync all your text messages between your Mac, your iPhone, your iPad, your Apple Watch. And that's been in the past few iOS 11 releases and then eventually removed near the end of the beta cycle. And concerningly, the exact same phrasing that was used when it was removed in the past is used in iOS 11.4, so I really hope that we see it as part of iOS 11 and it's not delayed indefinitely or delayed until iOS 12, but we really won't know for sure until the Golden Master version or the public release version of iOS 11.4 comes out. iOS 11.4 also introduces the ClassKit framework for developers, which allows them to integrate their apps inside of Apple's new schoolwork application with educational features. And finally, we get AirPlay 2 with iOS 11.4. That is my favorite feature next to the wallpaper coming in this update, and I think it's pretty cool overall. It allows you to play the same song in every room with AirPlay compatible speakers, different songs in every room, control the volume on all of your speakers from one place. I think it's going to be fantastic when it finally launches, and it should make using the HomePod a lot better than it is now. That's everything you should know about iOS 11.4 so far. If you want to download the wallpaper I've been using, it's the official product red version that is part of iOS 11.4 on the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. You can do so using a link down below, and if any more changes are discovered, I'll also update the blog post over on my website as well. If you enjoyed watching, drop a like, that would be incredible, and hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com, use code beta for 10% off, that would be amazing. For now, I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.